the road again. I know I've said that in my other <laughs> vlogs, but but it's true. Hey guys, uh, thanks for coming back for another uh, travel vlog or stumbling upon me, whichever one. I love you just as much. So you guys at this point in time have hopefully watched my last travel vlog. Oh my God, the sun is making me extremely shiny. That's okay. You guys have hopefully watched our last travel vlog where we went glamping in Temecula, California. And if you haven't, the thumbnail looks like this and I'll put the link in the description. You should definitely check that out. Today, we are going to Seattle. For those of you who have been following me for a little while, you guys know that I am a Seattle Tonian, born and raised. And I've lived in California since I was 15. So I've lived here for a little while. I'm still like, Seattle is my roots, it's my hometown. For my childhood best friends that I've had forever, um, they visit every single year except for 2021 we actually did not get to see each other at all in 2021 which really sucked the plan was to see each other december 2021 but that didn't work out and so we made a booking for going down right now like the second weekend of january so we could hang out with them the only thing is our plans have completely changed <laughs> The plan was to fly to Seattle and then we were gonna go up to Leavenworth, Washington and go to the snow because it's super snowy up there. Everyone's going up there. So we had to buy all new snow gear, snow bibs, snow boots, beanies, scarves, gloves, everything we're gonna need. And then literally today is the day we're getting on a plane to fly to Seattle. My best friend texts me and she goes, so a little change of plans. The passes that we have to drive through to get to Leavenworth are closed because of way too much snow. There's even an avalanche warning on it. They're not sure when they're gonna reopen them. One of them says they might reopen Saturday night. There's no guarantee about that. And then I was telling them, I don't know if it's a good idea for us to go up there. Like even if they do open it up, let's say we go up there and then a whole bunch of snow overnight comes down and they have to close them again and now we're stuck up there. So they were like, you know what? I think it's a good idea if we just don't go up there. And we had so many plans. We had booked a snowmobiling tour and I was gonna film all of it. Snowshoeing, a reindeer farm, but safety first. The passes are closed and we don't feel like it's a smart idea to risk it, especially since we're only going there for the weekend. We're only gonna have like two full days, but there's still gonna be a lot of fun things that you guys can see in this vlog. They are still planning fun things for us to do. And we are so, 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 so excited. On that note, we're flying, right? since the pandemic started. We haven't been to an airport, we haven't been to a plane. We've been avoiding it obviously because I just feel like you're way too close to people. You know, germs are floating everywhere. We finally booked this trip. One of my best friends over there just got engaged. I wanna see her. I wanted to see my friends because we went over a year without seeing each other. Tell me why right now is the time when it's like the worst time to fly. I'm trying to shield because I look terrible on this. Sun. Here we go. I'm gonna do it this way. What was I saying? Guys. Oh yeah. Flight attendants are getting COVID and Omicron is just going rampant. So it's it's actually really scary and it's kind of freaking me out, not gonna lie. We barely go out of the house other than to see like immediate, immediate family. Oh wait, I don't need to be covering anymore. There's no sun. But now the time we finally venture out and we go to an airport and get on a plane, it's like scary. We are sanitizing like insanely. We are not taking our masks off. We're just gonna do everything we can to be as careful as possible. And then when we come back, my goal is to get COVID tested as soon as possible and not see our family until we get a negative result. Oh God. Yeah. Oh yeah, so anyway, welcome to another travel vlog and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't checked out our other ones, they are here in a playlist called I Vlog 2. I always link them at the end of this video. Also, singing is my main boo. I have a lot of music on this channel as well. If you click on the originals playlist, you will see all my original songs on there. Hopefully you like them. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and enjoy the video. Here we go on another trip. <laughs> I don't know why I did <laughs> Yes, I can do it all by myself I fought every battle with no one's help But sometimes, or oh, sometimes Sometimes I want to be the greatest Honey, show them what you're made of
Saying women better give their men respect I didn't know they made them so damn ignorant Well don't you worry, I'ma beat it through your head We are women, got the world up on our shoulders and we chillin' We are what we are so you can do the dishes And we never take a day off You think that you're dying when you cough, 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 cough So all my ladies, you been blessed Know you worth nothing less than the best we made it! We are here! Oh my god. We had to wait on the runways. It was supposed to be 45 to 50. Thank god it wasn't that. It was like 30 minutes so we had to wait on the runway because the gate wasn't open for us. My friends are like, "Where? what zone are you? And I'm like, I have no idea. The polls don't say anything. But anyways, it's okay. They're gonna find us. We're gonna see them in a second. There they are! <laughs> okay, bye. Good, good. So you're telling me. You should have looked at me like, I'm blood. pressing charges. Yeah. I was like, I'm pressing charges. I'm like, walked out, but like, I'm uh -huh. pressing charges. I literally go, well, that was rude, and I'm sorry, and bye. Give me food. Hello, people. This is day two. So, we got to stop laughing at me. I feel so embarrassed to be <laughs> vlogging right now. Oh, by the way, that whistling in the background is, um, coffee being made. It looks like a very fancy machine. So we just had to get COVID tested because apparently over here in Seattle, if you go to King County to like restaurants or anywhere basically other than someone's house, you have to present a negative COVID test. So we went over and got COVID tested and we totally expected to get there and it was like, you know, a drive through. We get there and mind you, it is raining. It's been raining all morning. Everyone's waiting in line, like outside, standing in the rain. So we're like, great. So we waited for an hour in the rain, just bundled up, our hands froze completely. I was super nervous because I don't really like doctor's settings at all. I get really triggered. It's a whole thing. I have a fear of needles. It's a whole thing. So we went in there and I was nervous for sure, but I was I was doing pretty good. Like I was like, okay. Oh, craziest thing. It was actually in the same building that my parents owned their business when we lived here. My parents had a computer business where they would like repair and build computers. It was that building. It was the craziest thing. So it was kind of cool to be there too. So that was keeping me calm also like all the childhood memories. But we were there and she like took our temperature and then she put one of those things on your on your finger. Is that supposed to measure our pulse? The finger thing? Our heart rate? I think that's what heart it is. Rate. Heart rate. So <laughs> I thought I was doing pretty good, you know, but I knew I was nervous and I told her I was nervous and she looked at the finger thing and she was like, okay, you need to take a couple deep breaths. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm doing fine, but it's okay. We got through it. Negative. All of us are negative. Positively negative. Yeah, we're positively negative. <laughs> so anyways, now we're here and my other best friend Taylor and her fiance are coming over and we're going to have breakfast. So I'm excited about that that and that's all i just wanted to update you bye so what's happening is you're trying to tell us where amsterdam is so I where did you think it was first <laughs> the u.s <laughs> and, then, and then and then i thought it was um maybe in new mexico but i was thinking albuquerque so i didn't pass for that you heard all of us laugh so you know it's no longer in the u.s it's <laughs> Like it's definitely not in the U.S. So it's it? in Europe. I remember it's in Europe. Okay, it's in a country. I thought maybe it would be a country in Europe, so it's not. Okay, is it like? <laughs> I really don't. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Is there like a proper way of pronouncing it that could give me a clue? Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever play Switzerland. No. If we ever play something like catchphrase and there's geography, I don't want her on my team. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm picking Danny. I'm bringing people down. Okay. Is it like Dutch? Um, so the country it's in starts with an N. Okay. The Netherlands. Norway. Yeah. Yep. No. Netherlands. <laughs> yes. See, I knew this. Good job. That is so ginormous. <laughs> Alright, alright. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is for the guests. It's just, that's it's Tiffany's. supposed to be a splash. That's Tiffany's. Oh, why? Why is it mine? <laughs> Slo whoa, slow down with the orange juice. Evan, not everybody wants a three-quarters full like us. 
Little tip. 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 We're good. We're good. I thought you used the slap chop. You didn't use the slap chop. That's why. One more. You want the slap chop this too? Okay. The slap chop has come out. This is the slap chop. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Do this. Uh huh. Oh my God. Oh. Wow. Slap chop. That is extremely aggressive. Free shipping and handling, folks. We have 10 minutes to call and you can shipping. 1995 plus shipping and handling. Order now, get a second one free. See how many people we have Wait. online already? Hello, people already calling in. You got Wait, how many easy payments is it? Three easy payments. Oh wait, it's four. Here we go. Pardon me, nice, nice, There you go. Safety gear on. Professional. Yeah. <laughs> and this is how they fell in love. Yeah, they, it was all the, he put me in a sleeper hole. <laughs> and I woke up somewhere. He said, will you marry me? <laughs> it's Friday, my favorite song ever, Rebecca Black. Why is that not playing? Sitting in the front seat, sitting in the back seat. I literally could not imagine a better part of the day. It's Friday. <laughs> So I'm trying no, to remember. We talked about this recently. Why we Astro weren't Girl. friends for a moment. There you go. We weren't friends literally over the monkey bars, and we became friends again because your dad was chaperoning the field trip to and like, you were forced uh, in a car the together. Boeing, like um, the flight museum. The flight museum. The flight and museum. I was in your car. <gasps> Super forcing. I was trying to remember again. this the other day. I was like, why <laughs> did we have a pause? It was literally over the monkey bars. Yeah. Monkey bars. What was it at the monkey bars? I don't know, I think you did something cool and I copied you. <laughs> work. Work. It's my favorite part of the song, work. That's great, you're doing great. Work. You're doing great, sweetie. Work. I love that for you. So we are currently at Costco. The window. I'm getting that. That's awesome. I'm getting that play. <laughs> Can I get it? You want to get it? Kind of. Look for at it. For what? It's a dragon. What do you mean for what? <laughs> look at that thing. It's a work of art. We can't take it on the plane. That is pretty insane though. What is it? Whiskey? It's brandy. It's two dragons. We're not getting that. Put it back. <laughs> Baby, put it back. <laughs> what is it? It's two dragons. It's a dragon <laughs> on top of a dragon. <laughs> Yes! That's awesome! Look at this. Namaste. This plant apparently is only $23. It's a money tree. You know that brings good luck? It brings prosperity. Look how good the bird is on that one too. That plant is bad and I'm not leaving here without that. Are we the loudest ones in Costco? Probably. Absolutely. Evan's yelling about a money tree. Look at this. Great prices. Costco. You guys help me. We're doing an escape room and it's gonna be creepy. I don't know what kind it is. There's an actor in there apparently. I'm freaking out. I've never done an escape room before, but here's the building. Sketch or not sketch? You tell me. Uh, comment below. Um, so wish me luck and um, here we go. That was so cool. So that was my first escape room ever. That was so much fun. It was only a little creepy and then it was fine. <laughs> you peed a little? I mean, I think I almost peed my pants when she jumped out and scared me. Yeah. A big reason why I wasn't She's that scared was definitely because everyone else got freaked out first. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, okay. You're I welcome. Oh my gosh. I just wanted to come up here to do a quick update for you guys. So I couldn't take my phone into the escape room. I'm just going to have to catch you up. So at first I was very nervous about it, obviously, because I didn't know what to expect. I was like, is this going to be a scary one? Like, I can't do scary. I don't even watch horror movies, okay, you guys? I've never once in my life been to a haunted house, okay? And I know that sometimes these escape rooms can get super scary. So I was really nervous about it because I was like, if this is going to be like a horror one, I don't know how I'm going to do. But it was like a creepy one but it wasn't scary. So basically a scientist was experimenting and this girl got mutated somehow and she escaped and we have to find the cure some way. So we went in there and we were just like, 
going through the rooms. There were three different rooms and we had to kind of open them all and then, you know, retrace our steps and like go through them again and find other clues to bring them to the other rooms. So they kind of all worked together. We were going crazy in there. We were just like looking through everything, but we did a good job. The girl was like, you guys flew through the first half. But then towards the end, <laughs> we got a little bit caught up. It, it was like one of those um, padlocks where you like push it up, down, side to side. The code was like the suits of a deck of cards. So it was like spade, club, heart, diamond. And that's what we got stuck on for so freaking long. So there was an actor in there. She was very creepy. But after a while, it was like, like she wouldn't do anything. She was just kind of floating around. At the end of it, she kind of ended up giving us all the clues we needed to, to finish this thing. She would like bang on things or she'd like walk to a certain room. So we'd be like, let's follow her. Like she's, she's showing us something. And she did. At the end of it all, we did solve it. All of a sudden, that one actress who was in there with us being creepy but being like silent, all of a sudden, we solved a certain clue and then she was like, get back! And we were like, oh my god, she talks. Get back to the cages, she's coming, she's coming! And we were like, what the hell is going on? And we were like waiting and then all of a sudden, like a masked, mutated person comes running in and we had this like Nerf gun and we had to shoot them with the antidote. Yeah, so we won. Here's a picture. Why am I the only one sticking my tongue out? I... Yeah, we had a lot of fun though. It was the first escape room that a lot of us have ever done and we had a really fun time going there. And I wish I could have taken the camera in there. We were not allowed. I literally had to put my whole purse and phone and everything into a locker. Obviously, I mean, it makes sense, you know, like. All right, that was a sensor light that scared the crap out of me. We just got out of a creepy escape room and suddenly the lights just turned off on me while I was vlogging. That just freaked me out. I almost ran downstairs. Um, on that note, I'm gonna go downstairs. All right, so we are at the wine bar. What are Rustic we doing, guys? Cork. Rustic Cork. We're gonna do some wine tasting and lovely food. Oh, wine tasting. Yeah. It's a girls' night. It's a girls' night. The guys are golfing, so we figured we would come and enjoy some wine and food. You can't go wrong Ooh, with cheesecake. All right, cheesecake. <laughs> Last time we came here, we just got like a couple different kinds of foods, and we just all shared them. I'm down with that. <laughs> I can feel the dryness of the tip. I know. <laughs> you guys talking about your tips? Yeah, talking about tips. We've got lotion, and the, apparently the tips of her fingers are very uh, dry. <laughs> Still dry. Oh, oh my, my goodness! Here. What is this? I don't even know what's in it yet. I know there's I know. lettuce in it. It's a uh, mystery drink. <laughs> wow! Wow! Cinnabon latte. Cinnabon. Uh, Holy guacamole! Do you like it? <laughs> I love it. Cool. Yeah, that's Wait, what was mine again? A tropical green, green tea? tea? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This has been crazy. We have just kept on getting delayed. This has been a very weird trip when we landed in Seattle. 
Okay, the gate wasn't ready for us, and so we just had to wait there until they could open a gate for us. So it's just always been weird. And the flight attendants were talking about how like, things have been wild. They've been short-staffed, so it's just everything's out of whack. So today, our flight was supposed to leave at 2.15, but it's not doing that anymore. We got delayed. They moved it to like to I want to say like 2.30 and then they moved it to 2.56 and then they were like so your plane is actually in Portland right now and it hasn't even left. I know we say 2.56 but most likely that's going to change because they are supposed to land at like 2.30 something and there's getting people off the plane, getting the luggage out, sanitizing the entire plane, checking it, refueling it, you know everything that they have to do before we can take off so they finally just up Okay, they just updated it again and it's 322 now. So oh my god, my parents are at home with Olive and they're just like, look, we'll just wait till you guys get here and they have to go home too. They have like another hour drive from our house to get to their house. But yeah, so we're just dealing with that right now. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I was gonna get some fish tacos. I was very excited about it. They were wild Alaskan salmon tacos. 20 bucks. Tell me why. Two tacos. How does that equal 20 bucks? Tell me. I ended up with a personal pizza. That's the update. Alright, bye. You gon' be the greatest. Catching on the pages. Bring it on the bacon. School the man who thinks you need on. Everybody, we are finally home. We're driving right now to get sushi because I was like, I just <laughs> wait. I said this in my last video when we went to Temecula. I just needed sushi in my life, and so I think that's now a thing. If I go on vacation, I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna need sushi. So I need sushi again. But also, <sighs> you guys, I want to preface this by saying I love planes, love flying. Our flight home was very nice, like for almost all of it. <laughs> At the very end. During our descent, it it got sketchy. <laughs> it was just turbulence, okay? And I'm actually like the type of person that's like, turbulence doesn't scare me. You know, it's not comfortable, but it doesn't scare me. So I'm actually very good at keeping myself calm and just kind of like being zen during that. This was the worst turbulence I've ever been in in my life. Mind you, it might just be a very common turbulence for somebody who flies a lot more than me or something. But in my experience, it was the worst. It scared me so bad. It literally like jostled us around. Like it was very scary towards the end there. I couldn't help it. I let some tears flow. Like it wasn't like a breakdown or anything. I just like, it just scared me. All I was saying to myself was like, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna get on the ground safe and sound. We're almost there. I'm gonna see Olive and my parents. Everything's fine. I just had to keep myself as calm as I could, but it did scare me this time. I've I've never felt that way. I've always been an extremely confident flyer. So that wasn't very cool. <laughs> oh, uh, whoa. now we're in a car and look at us. Look at that turbulence. Anyway, <laughs> we're home now. My parents were awesome for staying late because they didn't want to leave Olive alone. I was like, you can just leave Olive. It's fine. And they were like, nope. How dare he be coming out of a grocery store at this time of night, Olive? How dare he? So they stayed late. So obviously we appreciated that a lot. So I'm gonna take this moment now to do an official sign off. I'm not sure what this vlog was. <laughs> I hope it was entertaining enough. I honestly, I did my best to keep up with vlogging, but it was a little bit difficult at times. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming back or stumbling upon me, whichever one it was. I love you just as much. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button, ring the bell so you get notifications. Follow my social media links so you know when I'm going on some kind of a trip or releasing music. Segue. My passion is music. And so I have a bunch of cool songs on here that hopefully is something that interests you. And if you want to listen to that, go to my originals playlist here on this channel and you will get to listen to a whole bunch of new tunes that I hope you like. Thank you guys so much. Comment below if you've had some kind of freaky experience with turbulence. I want to know your story. I want to feel supported. I think the positive that I'm getting from this turbulence thing is the fact that if I feel turbulence that's not as bad as that, I'm definitely not going to be worried about it. So I think that's the positive I'm taking from this. Tell me your stories in the comments below. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye! You look like a